We want you to write the equation of the line that passes through the points 3, 8 and 6, negative 7. Okay, I talked about in an earlier video. You have two choices. You can use the point slope form of the equation or the slope intercept form of the equation. What do we need for the point slope form? You've got it. I need one point and the slope of that line. What do I need for the slope intercept form? I need the slope and the y intercept. No matter which way I use, I have to have the slope, which is this formula right here. The y minus the y over the x minus the x. Does not matter which point you start with. Just if you start with the y's in the second point, you better start with the x's in the second point also. This video, we are going to use slope intercept form. So I need two things. I need the slope and the y intercept. The slope of the line that is going through these two points will be the y minus the other y over the x minus the other x. Remember, I started with this y in the first point. Then I'll have to also start with the x in the first point. That will be 15 because I had minus a negative. 3 minus 6 is a negative 3. My slope is negative 5. I have the slope. I will put negative 5 right there. But I do not have the y-intercept. We need to find little b, the y-intercept. Well, here's my formula. y is equal to mx plus b. Now, I'm going to only borrow an x and a y. And I'll just use this point. The y here is 8, and that's equal to my slope you told me earlier was negative 5 times x, which is 3, plus b. I am only borrowing this x and y, plugging that in, plugged in my slope, and I'm going to search for b. Carry on. The rest is just a little bit of algebra. Negative 5 times 3 is a negative 15. Add 15 to both sides. So B is 23. So what do you say? You say, yay, I have B. I'm done. Well, actually, you're not done. You have to write the equation if you want full credit. Now, remember, I said that I was only borrowing the X and the Y. So I'm going to put my X and Y, my variables, back in the equation. I have Y is equal to, you told me the slope was negative 5. And then that would be times X plus B, which you told me was 23. And that is slope-intercept form. Now, I know you what you may be saying, and yes, I will do it for you. What if your classmate insisted that you should use 6, negative 7? Well, let's see what happens. I have the slope. We found that earlier, which is negative 5. I'm going to borrow this x and y. So y is negative 7. And that's equal to the slope, which we found was negative 5, times x, in this case, is 6. I will have negative 7 is equal to negative 5 times 6 is negative 30 plus b. Add 30 to both sides, and b is going to equal 23. Are you done? No, you're not done. You have to write the equation. So I just wrote my y is equal to, I filled in my slope, which is negative 5 times x plus b. Yes, we got the same answer, even though we used a different point, and that's not magic. That is mathematics.